Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2013 and welcome to Verbling.com, the website where you can connect and practice with a native speaker instantly. The native speaker for this hour will be me. My name is Jeff Watson. I am from Vancouver, Canada, but I am talking to you from Santiago, Chile, in South America. And during my classes, I encourage all of the participants to practice speaking, to practice expressing their ideas and opinions, and my job is to listen and to give them some suggestions and corrections and help. And so let's get started. We have some students in the class. Um, Ahmad, are you there? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Great. How are you? Welcome. How are you? Okay? <laughs> all right. I, I'm, I'm fine. How are you? I am all right. Thank you. Excellent. So we're going to be using, as usual, the Google Hangout chat box. And so what I'm going to do is quickly put some questions in there that people can read and answer. And those questions hopefully will help you come up with ideas on what to talk about. And, and so, um, Ahmad, uh, could you start our conversation, please, about uh, addictions? Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> addiction uh, is something uh, that uh, we might uh, um, like it or uh, uh, getting used to do it, uh, mm -hmm. mm, like uh, unconsciously or unintentionally. Maybe? Good. Uh, it Un unintentionally? Yeah, it could uh, become uh, like a habit. Yeah, all right. And, it... and sure. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, one of the questions is, uh, when, when does a habit become an addiction? Mm, when? Um, I don't know really. <laughs> yeah, OK. But it uh, suddenly uh, we, we realize that uh, we are addicted. <laughs> to do something. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> well, often that's a big surprise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I'm gonna just uh, skip ahead to Fabio. Uh, hello. Hi, are you there? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Is that you, Fabio? Yeah. Yeah. It's me. Oh, great. Thank you. Uh, please introduce yourself and join our conversation where the topic this hour is uh, addiction. Yeah, I'm, I'm Fabio, I live in Italy, and uh, I don't know, I got a lot of addictions. Oh, uh, yes, okay, yeah. great. Most of them I can't really talk about it, but, you know, <laughs> no, yeah, uh, seriously, I, I don't, well, addiction to something it really depends on also where you live and what's your status and what you do, you know. Sometimes an addiction is seen as an addiction in certain uh, uh, social environments and uh, it's seen as something that you have to do in other environments. So it's, it's it, and it also depends, you know, usually addiction is a, uh, is a derogatory term. Yes. And it definitely has a negative uh, yeah. connotation in English. And uh, that also implies that it really depends on the law. So an addiction somewhere might be something which is totally legit and normal in some other places. So. Oh, great. Uh, congratulations on your English. Sounds great. Thank I'm just going to keep moving ahead. So uh, I'm trying to give everybody one minute. And I just want, uh, I've got some new students here, some people I don't recognize. So we are using the Google Hangout chat box. Esa, are you there? 
Oh yes, I am. Hello, everyone. Yeah. And I'm from Kazakhstan. I'm a student. So, uh, about addictions, I um, I have no any. I don't have any bad habits, and I'm. <laughs> I just think we have get uh, the people have to get rid of addiction. Okay, so they have to deal with their addictions. Uh, yes. it, it, like, uh, so you are a high school student? Not high school. I'm wow. studying in university. Okay, and so do any of your classmates have some problems with whether it's smoking or drinking? Uh, they might be doing, you know, it, it, it something that has a negative impact. Yes, of course, life. and they they are students, and they and they party a lot. So uh, most of them smoke, and but I don't smoke. But when the party is, maybe some alcohols, but I don't smoke. Okay, no, oh, great. And Lizzie, hello. Are you there? Hi, Lizzie. We can't hear you yet. Try again, please. Okay. Sorry, we don't hear you, Lizzie. So I'm right now. I'm going to move on to uh, Sal Salab Ma Maamon. Yes. Hello. Uh, it's uh, yes. Mahmoud. Hello. Please. Uh, I'm from uh, Lebanon. Please. I'm doing my uh, master's degree in marketing. Uh, I don't have a lot to say about addiction. I just think like it's uh, it, it could be divided into several levels of different. Uh, uh, I don't know the word. Uh, no, but that's a good word. Uh, that sounds good to me. There are several levels of of, of addiction. Yeah. But if I like, if I want to define it, I would say it's something. It, it's a habit that you realize it's an addiction when you can't quit. <laughs> Wonderful, yeah, great. And, and uh, what do you think of marketers and advertising? Uh, oh, are, man. <laughs> <laughs> are you partly to blame for some people's addictions, maybe to things like shopping? Well, if, if I... Um... So actually, like uh, in modern marketing, uh, products are like selling themselves. Like we just create the need, and the product will the product will sell itself. So, right. Okay. So, in, in some ways, you you create the addiction. <laughs> Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. No. Great. No. Thank you, and, and welcome to the class. Mine, hello. Hello. Nice to uh, see you again. Please introduce yeah. yourself to the group and, and join our conversation. Uh, my name is Mine. I am from originally Istanbul, Turkey. I have been living in USA for three years. And I am addicted on warbling now. <laughs> Every night <laughs> I try to take one or two lessons. and Good. Well, that's a that's a good that's a healthy addiction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, please uh, go ahead with a comment, uh, and I, I hope that everyone in the class can see that I posted some questions and ideas in the uh, chat box. I didn't see the questions. Ah, okay. I'll put it in there again, and, and so. Uh, I, I know that you're in the United States, so do, do you see uh, people like, you know, definite addicts uh, in the city in the United States or, you know, was that typical, yeah. was that common to see in Turkey or no? Um, people, in America people like to buying stuff. <laughs> I am sort of like that. I am buying addiction now. Okay. By colic, it's in in English. Yeah. It's by colic, right. yeah. And it is not good, of course. But the marketing is really good here. Advertisement and all over the 
store and they they try to their best and you cannot resist it to buy and then no well it's it's hard to resist yes hard to resist yes yeah okay no great thank you uh, uh, Motas hello how are you I'm great happy new year Jeff yeah thank you very much uh, so please introduce yourself to the group and uh, join our conversation chance to practice your English first of all I'm sorry of my um, I'm a little sick ah, okay. and then um, hello I'm Motaz I'm from Syria mm. I don't think there's a, a good uh, type of addiction or a healthy type like you say mm -hmm. uh, but uh, like what Mahmoud said, there's a level. But even when your addiction, when your addiction is on something good, it will be bad addiction. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, too much of anything is unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people say that in English. Yeah. But uh, you know, there are good habits. Uh, but you know that that level of when a good habit gets goes bad. Um, yeah, but if you do something good all the time, it will be not not so bad, but it will affect you in some point. Yeah. Okay. And and so, do you have a, a balanced life, or uh, do you have an addictive personality? Do you have to be careful? With what you do? Yeah, no, I have an addictive personality. Uh, okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't careful. smoke, I don't drink, but I have addictions to FIFA. I play FIFA all the time. <laughs> okay, so video games? Yeah. yeah. All right. No, great. Thank you. I'm going to keep moving on. Uh, Rasal? Hi. Yes, please introduce yourself and join our conversation. We're talking Hi, about I'm, addiction. I'm Russell from New York and <clears throat> uh, talking about addiction. Well, I uh, I have I have addiction. Uh, I am addicted to drink a lot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I drink sometimes drink seven seven cups a day. And uh, I, I desperately want to uh, decrease the amount of cups I am consuming in, in the day. And also, mm -hmm. as uh, as Motas mentioned, that he play a lot of games. And I, I am also addicted <laughs> to PlayStation. And I also play a lot of games. Now, is it the caffeine in the tea that you're addicted to, or just the... The habit of making yourself a cup of something it's, to drink. Uh, it's my habit. It's my habit to, to drink tea a lot. Yeah, okay. And does it? do you think it has a harmful effect? Do you think it has a negative effect? On your health? Yeah, I feel uh, I feel uh, uh, slow or or sleepy when whenever I don't drink it. So uh, okay. it's a kind of addiction, I think. Well, I'm definitely addicted to coffee in the morning. So <coughs> I'm totally used to using caffeine to wake up in the morning. But yeah, great, thank you, uh, Sam. Yes. Sam? Yes. Hello. Please hello. Uh, introduce yourself and join our conversation. I am uh, Siham, and uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Welcome. And, uh, and, and I think I'm. Yes. No, please go ahead. This is this is your chance. Go ahead, please. Uh, I think I am addicted to coffee. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, I drink a lot of coffee. Maybe three cups a week or something like that uh, at the day. I mean. And have you ever gone a day without drinking coffee? No, when? never. Yeah. <laughs> you see, this is this is my problem. Yes. I, I, yeah. Even me. <laughs> and and if I didn't drink a coffee, uh, maybe I have a headache, something like that. Yeah, just uh, 
Very quickly, a medical study was looking for side effects to anesthesia after operations in hospitals. And people complained of headaches. And, but they found out that it was caffeine addiction. That when the people go yes. in for surgery, they can't drink coffee. And so that's what they were complaining <laughs> about. <laughs> oh, great. This is the problem. <laughs> Excellent. Good luck with that. Uh, Ahmad, uh, go ahead with another comment, please. Ahmad, are you there? We, we can't hear you, Ahmad. Sorry, because... Uh, <laughs> okay, it was uh, okay. unmuted. Good. Okay. Uh, regarding to the smoking, uh, no, uh, I don't smoke. Uh, I've never smoked, yeah. but um, unfortunately, uh, I live uh, among uh, friends who smoke. <laughs> um, and, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that could affect me negatively. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Maybe if, uh, if um, especially if I um, don't um, advise them or uh, ask them to stop smoking. Sometimes uh, I like uh, the smell. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, so I'm afraid I could uh, be addicted or something. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, you could maybe start yeah. be tempted to start yeah. smoking. Okay. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, there is something uh, I think uh, the 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 love is blind that could make uh, the people enjoy the ruining of uh, their lives sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. right, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Esa, another another uh, comment, please. Uh, yes, um, uh, I'm I'm easily to get addicted uh, to video games. Okay. Because I yeah, I really like them, and I like to play the video games with my friends online. And but uh, right now, and um, like mine, like me, I'm addicted on verbling. So okay. I'm trying. To, right. <laughs> I'm trying to not to play video games, and because when I uh, play video games. I, I, I just can't uh, get out from the game, and I just eager. I'm I'm just eager to, I'm just eager to get the next level, and after that, I mean, I want the next level. So right. I'm longing. I'm I'm longing yeah. with it. So. Yeah, you're sort of uh, yeah. Lo um, now let me let me think about how to uh, to give you a phrase with that. Excellent, uh, Fabio, go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd really I really don't know what to say more about it. Oh, okay. uh, no, sorry, I I put yeah. some comments and questions in the uh, Google Hangout chat box. If uh, I have a little diagram of what the uh, sorry, I've lost it here for a second. Uh, this is what the diagram looks like, the icon. So you can open that up and just take a, a look at some questions. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I, I've seen yeah. them. I've oh, sorry. Them just in front of yeah. me. Um, no, but I mean, does your government help out people with addiction problems? Uh, it, yeah, I mean, mostly uh, they are with drug-related addictions. So. They, uh, I might be wrong, but I think that a hundred percent of the structures are uh, are privately owned and publicly funded. So um, I can't recall of Italy having a, a specific service for addiction-related. Um, Manifestations, or you know, lack of, and but they're mostly uh, privately run and publicly funded. Well, unless no, actually there is something uh, concerning drug-related uh, addictions. The the structure which um, gives uh, methadone to drug addicted is part of the National Health Service, and it's uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, I stand corrected. 
<laughs> no, no, uh, excellent. Well done. And uh, is that, uh, sorry, controversial? Um, not really. I mean, yeah. okay. uh, it is seen as part of the National Health Service, so it's, it's right. not really. And, you know, no. if, it's it's always a, a delicate balance between the cost of recovering people from addictions and the damage that these people can do both to, to themselves okay. or if you want to be more selfish to the community yeah. itself. So okay, but got uh, to deal see, with it. yeah, but you brought up two or three excellent points. So uh, you know the idea is to practice your English, but if we can talk about harm reduction, which is uh, an issue in Vancouver. Uh, that's that's a, a great topic that uh, I find very interesting. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Lizzie, are you there? Hi there, people. Oh, it's hi. Lizzie here from Brazil. Great. Please join our conversation. So, my only addictions are good addictions. Uh, buying books and movies and a bad addiction actually is drinking Coke. I don't recall to have a day without drinking coke. I don't think it's a good addiction, but I don't think it's that bad as a drug habit. But anyway, uh, I can I can be one day without drinking it. Okay. And and then uh what is it about the coke? Uh is it the caffeine or I have no idea. I just like it a lot. Okay. <laughs> so how much do you drink? I I stay with just one one can per meal, just one one glass because otherwise I will be gaining weight a lot and I would rather not to gain weight. Okay. No, no. Well, that that sounds good, but uh so passions, you have a passion for buying books and yeah, you may open up a bookstore, right? Yes, but I, I like the old books. Okay, I don't know how to say that in English, but those stores that sell books, uh, old books and used books, I don't know how to say that in English. In Portuguese, no. it's sebos, but in okay, English, but I don't know how. No, sorry, used books, uh, used bookstores. Yeah, like old books, uh, books okay. that people don't want anymore, so they sell to yeah. those stores okay. and those stores sell it. Yeah, no, no. So uh, those are just used bookstores, I think. Yeah, but then you would maybe get into collecting or something. Uh, Mauman, are you there? Oh, yes. Yes, please, uh, continue our conversation, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, wh why do you think people continue to do things that are mm. ruining their lives? Like basically, the general way to look at it is uh, because they are pleasurable. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you want to get in uh, too deep, uh, it's probably because it's it gives you a chance to either be in solitude or expose yourself, feel different, and that's where it really becomes like uh, it's really where marketers take advantage of it when the, it when it's it is used for self exposure because you are doing. You, you are addicted to something because you want to feel different, but then you find yourself uh, like everybody else doing the same thing. And so we start creating niches and creating needs, just like I said before, and it just goes on. So they start to identify with the habit. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then so I think that was the problem with the cigarette in the movies because we had those, that idea that cigarettes were very sexy because those actors were smoking and it was very sexy but nowadays we know that smoking is not a good habit but mm. on those days it was not the, the main idea. No, and uh, I know that uh, women's equality was linked to smoking at one point and teenagers trying to uh, appear to be more mature. Yeah. Uh, Mine, uh, go ahead with a, a comment, please. Yeah, I just realized I used to smoke. I had been smoking for 18 years. Wow. I was okay. addicted at that time and now I quit to smoke for uh, five years ago, actually. But how much, sorry, how much can you tell us about that? Because 
uh, my, uh, I, I ended a relationship with a woman quite a few years ago, but I watched her try to quit smoking two or three times, and she was so sick. Uh, there were horrible withdrawal symptoms. Yes, yes. It is very difficult to quit smoke, to be honest. I tried everything, doctors, medicine, gum, everything, a patch, but then I, I, I never be successful finally. I had a um, health issue. My doctor told me, you have two choices, quit or die. <laughs> then I said, it's not that dramatic, but he makes me very um, nervous. And I said, okay, and I quit. Okay. And I think my brain was ready to quit at okay. that time. This is the prob This is yeah. the point. Is it? Yeah. No, I've heard people say I, I was just ready to quit at that point. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Motas, uh, another comment, please. I don't know. I don't have anything on my mind. <laughs> well, do you do you see the questions in the in the box? Yeah, I see it. But... Yeah. Now, I mean, do you? Do you have you ever seen any of your uh, of the students at your university uh, getting into trouble, uh, flunking out of university, failing because they've uh, gotten addicted to something? Um, not so other mates. It's me. <laughs> I'm playing so video games, so it's effect on my studying and my results in, at the end of the exam. All right, and and so uh, let me see. What are some of the the main ideas to to help uh, get rid of a bad habit or you know uh, break an addiction? So hard, so so hard. But it, <laughs> it, it what's hard? It takes a great. You, you should have a great will. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's a good. Uh, that's a good word. Uh, willpower is, yeah. is what we talk about in English a lot. Superpower, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. Lots of willpower. Yeah. Uh, Russell, go ahead, please. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I want to talk about uh, cigarette smoking addiction people have. And uh, <clears throat> it not only, it is the most dangerous kind of addiction. It not only affects the uh, the, the person who is smoking, but it also affects the surroundings and uh, destroys the uh, uh, lungs of uh, uh, people in the surroundings due to the passive smoking. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> it should be uh, stopped in the public places, but in some countries, uh, people do smoke in the public places and in, in the uh, public areas and in transports and it affects their their health collectively in, in those parts of the areas. Yeah, exposure to secondhand smoke. So uh, yes. give me an idea of, of what people can do. Uh, what, you know, uh, how do you, how do you get people to stop smoking? Yes, the best way is to <clears throat> Ban it uh, in the public and pro uh, public places, especially, so it it can contain into the person who is just smoking, and not it will not affect the other persons. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, great. So more anti-smoking regulations. And yes. Sam, are you there? Now I I yes. Please go ahead. Sam. Okay. Yeah, yes. Please. Yes. When does a uh, behavior become uh, an addiction? I think uh, people uh, with addiction, uh, who they don't have a control of their, uh, their what what they are doing, don't have a control. Yes, no, uh, they lose self control. Yeah, and and so. Yes. Uh, in, in, in your culture, is it common for friends to talk to other people who are maybe having problems or within family members or...? You mean what? Talk about what? 
Yeah, to help someone who has an addiction or Yes, yes, of course. And and is that generally accepted by the people when their yes. family talks to them? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. It's common. I mean if someone have a problem in the family, they have to talk to them. I mean to him. No, oh, that's okay. That's the first step. Is but uh, in some cultures that's very difficult. That first step of uh, we often say in English confronting someone with uh, their addiction. So yeah, it's difficult for us. Uh, Ahmed, go ahead, please. Yeah. Okay. Personally, um, um, two two years ago, um, uh, I suffered. Uh, regularly from uh, headache uh, I went to the doctor uh, the time he asked me uh, about my diet I told him that uh, I used to uh, to drink soda or uh, fizzy drinks uh, a lot so he asked me to quit uh, drinking uh, these drinks uh, after I felt uh, better so I think uh, uh, soda or fizzy drinks uh, could uh, cause headache sometimes. And and did did he think that it, uh, the doctor he or she did they think that it was the sugar or the caffeine or something artificial in the drink? Mm, what they mentioned something related to the uh, what do you call it uh, uh, the fizzy. Uh, Oh, all oh, the carbonation. Yeah. The carbonation itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, uh, Sam answered a, a question about uh, when does when does something become an uh, an addiction? I put that comment in the box that people are doing something just to feel normal. So initially it was very pleasurable, but then it loses the pleasure, and then people just are are stuck having to take something to feel normal and, and not to feel sick. Yeah. Uh, Essa, uh, go ahead please with another comment. Uh, okay. Uh, I think it's easy to get rid of from addiction. And you will just need self-hypnosis okay. and aspiration. Now, and sorry, what's that last word? Um, aspiration. Okay, sorry. Uh, inspiration. You need to be inspired, or okay, okay, like sorry. motivation. Something that's motivating you to continue. Yes, and and you must have a great desire to do it. Okay. Yeah. And and the last one is the first step. <laughs> I think you will get rid of from addiction and. Sorry, yeah, so you're saying that the first step is what? No, I'm, I'm saying that if you have a great desire to quiet or and if you have self-hypnosis, and you can do the first step. All right. Uh, uh, now, later uh, on, everything will be, will be okay. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, great. Uh, Fabio, uh, another comment, please. Yeah, uh, well, actually, uh, well, the first one, we are talking about smoking. I, I'm smoking right now, so, and uh, that, that's pretty strange because there's something, I don't know how my brain is wired, but and I'm, I'm not joking, I usually quit smoking two or three times a year for two or three months, and then I start again. I mean, meaning it, it, it's really depending on the person, and uh, uh, to me, for example, it's not that difficult to quit smoking. And I don't know. I don't know why. So I, I don't know either why I start again. But I usually start again when I stopped. So it 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 is true that you have got to have a, a will and power and all the stuff. But because addiction is basically um, uh, something that your that your body craves, that your mind needs, uh, it also it really depends a lot how difficult it is to quit from from the person. 
meaning you know, for me it might be easier to quit smoking then I don't know I'm not gambling but for example if I were gambling to to stop gambling because mm -hmm. and 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 also there's a big difference between uh, uh, substance addiction and and process addiction I mean by process addictions I, I mean for example you know uh, gambling or shopping right. or eating right. or, or yeah, I, I think we usually say kind of uh, behavioral addiction. Yeah. 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 And uh, the, the latter, <clears throat> well, for the first one is is it it's it it is it might be easier because actually it it's a substance which gives you addictions and cravings and stuff like that. For process addiction, it it's your mind. So that might be a little bit trickier. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and also, uh, just a final point, because we're talking about um, we're talking about um, substance addictions. Um, it is funny that usually in in the civil society, uh, uh, nicotine, which is a legal drug, it's one which gives uh, it has actually the highest rate of addiction among the other ones. It's more than heroin. It's more than cocaine. And it's more it's more than marijuana, which is quite nothing. I mean, it's only ten percent of the people become addicted. So, it's kind of strange. It's it's more than alcohol. Alcohol, I think, was fifteen yeah. percent. Something more like that. So, more addictive. Yeah, it is. Excellent. It is. But you know, it's funny because you know uh, sometimes people they don't realize that you know nicotine is more addictive than cocaine or heroin. You know, so it's yeah, it's kind of yeah. strange. You know, as long as you make money out of it, it's I think it's okay. You know. So, no. No, oh, great. Uh, Lizzie, go ahead, please. Lizzie, are you there? Hi, I'm here. Yes, great. Go ahead, please. So, what I think is the major problem about addictions is that people are really hypocrite uh, about it. Uh, I mean, here in Brazil, we are so, uh, I don't know, we are well known for being like a happy people and people that can express themselves but when you talk about addictions especially in family issues it's like a big issue it's like a, uh, you don't talk about it my yeah. last boss was addicted in heroin and nobody could speak about it you know you know the guy uh, was sniffing around but you cannot talk about it he, he is smelly his nose is dirt but you cannot say anything about it so I think people are really hypocrite about it and that's why people accept uh, drinking alcohol uh, cigarettes because they they think it's kind of normal so it's kind of a taboo subject to talk to someone about their addiction? Yes, yes. Do you know that expression? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, great. Thank you for your comment. Uh, and um, Maun? Mamun. Mamun, sorry. Uh, please go ahead with another comment. Um, I, w I would like to bring like two points. First of all, I think uh, the worst think for an addict is to have someone who haven't walked the walk tell them that they should quit. It's, okay. it's really bad for them. Like they will not listen. So it's preferably someone who, who was healed. They would probably listen more. And then like uh, banning cigarettes is, uh, it's really like, it's not a practical idea. Like governments turn a lot of profits out of that. Like, they don't really care about the health of their citizens. I don't think so. Like. Uh, for example, like the state of New Jersey turned around 62% of the profits. That's, that's a lot uh, in one, for one box of cigarettes. So it's not a practical idea. No, well, great points. And uh, I put that phrase, uh, you said they can, they can talk the talk or walk the walk, but uh, there's another one that we use a lot. It's, I've been there myself. So I and maybe even I've been in your shoes, but yeah, those are great comments. Yeah, and and, and it's just that when they, when the United States tried to ban alcohol, uh, many people say that that was the start of organized crime. It, it just wasn't practical. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Mine, uh, go ahead, please. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I want to talk about the work addiction. <laughs> I have a boss she, who she is work addicted and 
it is not good to someone who is a work addicted because she is always in her office and she works from in the morning till night and she always wants to work the others like her and I don't know it is well, not uh, good. yeah and and uh, do they admit that they're a workaholic you know this is this uh, slang term that we use in English? Um, I don't know. Actually, she's always tense and she always forced the other people to do their work and that is the reason most people doesn't like her. And okay. also, it is not good for her psychology because she she is a difficult person to work, actually. To work with, yeah. Yes, to and, work with. Yeah, and that's why people don't like her. Okay, no, great. Yeah, having a negative effect. Uh, Russell, are you there? I, I muted your microphone, so. Yes, I'm yes, here. Great. Please, go ahead. Well, <clears throat> I want to talk about, again, <laughs> just uh, cigarette smoking. Yes, go ahead. Well, actually, mm, see, uh, cigarette uh, smoking, it, uh, it, use, it is usually a nicotine addiction. And nicotine is a silent killer. <laughs> it, uh, it affects uh, you silently, and you don't know that uh, it is causing damage to your health. Actually, <clears throat> it damages your uh, blood vessels and uh, in the little, later part of your life when you go and get older then uh, your blood, blood, uh, blood vessels uh, become more prone to the injury and uh, uh, they and they lose their power to contract and uh, <clears throat> relax so they can't sustain the blood pressure uh, uh, and people usually become uh, more prone to the disease known as hypertension or blood pressure and <clears throat> they need medicines to go with their with the issue and uh, it is very it is very much a silent killer rather than uh, it, it doesn't show yeah it doesn't effects. have immediate obvious effects right now, yes. just there have been lots of new studies about the damage of smoking and it's uh, quite quite scary I've also put on there the social acceptance that's what we talk about of smoking I think in Canada that has really changed and I uh, people do not find smoking acceptable anymore socially acceptable so I think that's one way to deal with an addiction as well uh, Serdal are you there hello I, I muted your microphone, so you may need to turn on your microphone, Serdal, by clicking on the microphone icon that's on your screen. Are you there? Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm going to go on. Uh, Tariq, hello, are you there? Yes, hello. Yes, please, introduce yourself and join our conversation. We have comments and questions posted in the Google Hangout chat box and we're talking about addictions okay I didn't see them but uh, I'm Tariq from Yemen and um, I think I don't have anything addicted any, to anything but I can not talk about um, people live in my country sure. or something special in my country we are uh, people addicted to cat its type of tree. Okay. Uh, we, if you know about it, uh, we. I'm, I'm uh, sorry, I don't. Please describe it for me. Cut is uh, uh, something like tree, small. Okay. It's like one meter or above two meter, three meters mm -hmm. high, and uh, people are not eat it, but they are chewing it. They okay. are keep it in your and their their mouth it and uh, for four hours. But uh, in my opinion, it's bad habit. But uh, I think most of my people there in my country they are uh, trying it because there's some uh, negatively uh, you know effects. 
uh, in health also uh, in uh, economically and uh, uh, we are also wasting time there okay. is nothing of benefit from it so they're just uh, kind of doing something to kill time you know kill that the expression? time and yeah. uh, uh, think uh, uh, for we want some enjoyment for you know yeah. uh, temporary or sometimes just for sometimes but yeah. after that okay. they, they will leave it yeah great uh, I, I'm just gonna check with uh, Serdar are you there S Serdar Kurt no uh, okay and so uh, Ahmad please go ahead with another comment yeah uh, I want to talk about uh, three of the most common addictions uh, in this uh, modern life um, something uh, we don't uh, realize sometimes uh, like laziness some people uh, are addicted to laziness mm -hmm. uh, technology uh, technology um, has um, has made um, uh, us uh, to control everything except the technology itself <laughs> yeah that's what I think uh, and uh, the last thing uh, the internet uh, although uh, the internet uh, has uh, benefits, but uh, uh, the one could um, I can't really uh, personally. I can't imagine my life without internet. <laughs> uh, so that I think uh, it is kind of an addiction. We need to control. I no, but I—I uh, I mean, whether I was truly addicted or not, I—I I watched a ridiculous amount of television for quite a few years, and so it was just got used to filling that space with the television. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's similar with um, with the internet. Uh, Esa, uh, please go ahead. Okay, uh, in my viewpoint. Uh, the main reason why we are eager to keep on doing our habit is our thoughts. And because when we think about it, we start to search for it and we start to need it. So that's why we are addicted and uh, can't imagine our life without it. And uh, I think the best way is to not think about it, to another things. And don't think about it. And when I go outside, I notice other people that every everyone needs something. Uh, some someone is need needing beer, and someone is searching for uh, cigarettes and others. Yeah, e everyone is addicted with something today. Yeah, it seems that everyone's addicted to something. They're they're always yeah. buying something. Here, I'm just going to uh, skip ahead just to say hello to Serdar. Are you there? Hi, I'm here. Yes, please introduce yourself and, and join uh, our conversation. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was reading an essay about cigarettes editions. <laughs> I mean, 46 million people are using cigarette in the United States. You know, I mean, right, it is yeah. it is it is very dangerous for us because you know it is unhealthy for people. Millions of people killed because of this situation. But any government cannot block this situation. Why you are an American? Why? You know? No, no. Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I'm Canadian. Uh, I'm from oh, Vancouver, sorry. but uh, well, I, I went mean, to this Canada. Is, I went to Canada two years ago, Halifax. Uh, you know. Oh, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I've never been there myself, but yeah. Yeah, please go. On. Yeah, uh, absolutely. No, but I, I just think, and that's a very good uh, opinion, or, or sorry, that's a very good topic. Is how do you deal with people? Uh, who are addicted? Is it through education and support and harm reduction or do you get tough and do you try and block and prohibit them from doing it? So that's that's a really important issue. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, Fabio, uh, yeah, go ahead please. Mm, yeah, I think that you know you usually talk about addiction when it causes harm to the society. Uh, mm, gambling addiction is 
is way more dangerous and it's uh, statistically it is more lethal to a person and to a family surrounding than cigarettes or tobacco. But because it, it only deals with that people and a small amount of people around him, it's not is no big deal. So it's a big deal, for example, cigarettes and alcohol because of the um, because of, of what it causes to the society. I mean, with, with cigarettes, it causes uh, higher <clears throat> uh, health costs for the community. For tobacco, it can cause, you know, damaging property and stuff like that. So it, it, it really is a, a matter of how, uh, uh, what is the political will on that particular kind of addiction, you know, because if, if, we, if we want to talk only on the uh, addictive side of the substances, again, there is no point in having cigarettes legal and not marijuana. So it, it is totally pointless and it, and it, is, it is only uh, more than a social, it's a political point of view. So uh, again, you know, I, I don't know what much to say, but it's, it's just there, you know. No, great, thank you. And uh, yeah, excellent points, excellent points. Uh, and Lizzie, are you there? Yes, actually drug addicts here in Brazil are kind of a major deal because especially in Rio when you have so many slums and it's not just safe to walk on the streets especially at night or perhaps to go inside the slums you can never pick a wrong bus in Rio you have to be very careful uh, and there was this place called the crack land okay my translation yeah. <laughs> and all the people addicted to crack lived in that place and it was in the middle of an important uh, uh, not station but uh, important road here in Brazil and I used to pick that road to go to college and it was very very scary when all the addict come crossing the streets and they were like a, uh, they were very, very violent, and it was very scary. Mm. So I think that's a major problem here. And yeah. I don't know if they're supposed to be tough or they're supposed to educate. I don't know how to deal with that. I really think that should be a balance between education, um, between um, violence. I don't know. I don't know. No, great. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just uh, – the other question I have with that is just – why did they get involved with taking crack? Were they in a good situation before they got addicted, or uh, were they are they just searching for something to self-medicate and and kind of disappear? So yeah, uh, Ma Ma Moon Ma Moon. Oh yes, thank you. I wanted I wanted to talk about uh, video games addiction since the guys brought it up. Uh, <laughs> I, I think. Uh, with video with video games addiction uh, not every addiction is necessarily bad uh, because when you talk about games like FIFA it's just uh, an alternative version of real football if you don't have access to go and to go and play obviously I would prefer a game on the pitch but I would not really uh, hesitate to play a FIFA game and then like uh, there are the games that are really to me personally, are useless and addictive. Say Angry Birds, uh, the big, the greatest selling video game of all time. Uh -huh. How did the game become the? <laughs> it's a mystery to me. Like, it's really a useless game. And before, before this game was Tetris, which was actually needed little more like uh, creativity. But still, those games are the ones that are <laughs> useless and don't translate to real life. No, okay. No, I agree. And I, I put in the chat box, you know, a video poker machines. Uh, I Maybe that's not quite the term. And slot machines. Uh, I think that casinos create these video poker machines to be addictive like video games. And, and you know, again, we've talked about it where substances or behaviors and activities can be addictive, but maybe it's all happening in the brain. You know, people are creating certain brain chemicals by doing certain activities. Uh, Mine, uh, go ahead, please. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, smoking bang, bang. And I think it is work. 
um, because it is not fun to s uh, smoke outside the cafe without your meal or your coffee. You know, it, it is convenient to sit cafe and smoke your cigarettes. It's, it is enjoyable. Uh, however, in USA, most public place you cannot smoke even though outside you cannot smoke, they have a smoke free area, you have to go far away and then you can smoke. And I think this is a good way to help people who cannot control by themselves. And this is my point. Yeah, okay. Just a, a quick comment from me is I, I wonder if the no smoking laws are just to protect non-smokers from secondhand smoke. I, I don't even know if it has anything to do with trying to get people to quit smoking, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Russell, go ahead, please. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I want to talk about uh, some other kinds of addictions, like uh, somebody already mentioned that gambling is a kind of addiction. Similarly, <coughs> Uh, uh, the guns addiction is a kind of addiction where people love to uh, have a gun uh, with with them, and uh, if they go and they go crazy, then certain uh, certainly they become a dangerous uh, person to a society, like what happened in uh, in uh, USA recently. Uh, in Connecticut, uh, the person's mother have a lot of guns and somehow he got, he, he got that weapon and uh, shoot shoots so many children and adults and and the government is confused whether whether they should ban the guns or uh, or not so <clears throat> Uh, according to me, that's the kind kind of addiction that government has to deal strictly with. Yeah. That government strictly deal with. Yeah. And uh, no, great, thank you. There and, is a group called NRA. NRA oh, yeah. group in the right. <laughs> in the USA. Uh, it's a quite ridiculous group, I think. Yeah. Okay. No, great. I I appreciate your comments and certainly just you know violence in movies and video games and in yeah, society that, uh, that, that is another you know, that could be yeah that that's part of that I just lost somebody there so uh, Ahmad uh, go ahead please uh, maybe this is we're getting close to a final comment Ahmad yeah okay um, uh, final comment uh, prevention is better than cure so it's better yeah to uh, um, uh, to stop or to quit or to avoid some uh, habits or bad habits um, just because we don't want it to be become like addiction. Yeah. No. Okay. So uh, you know, for teenagers, some parents, some people think it's good for teenagers or young people to do some experimenting and try different things. Uh, you're maybe saying that that's too dangerous. That we should tell people to avoid things. Yeah. We need awareness. Uh, okay, developing awareness of, of that, yeah, and the risks. Excellent. Esa, uh, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, I just can say that addiction is very harmful and and try try to try to get rid of them and uh, I think uh, if you if you uh, remain or uh, remain how you are damaging your health and it remain it oftenly and so you will try to you can try and you will do it I think so you need to remember or uh, for people to remind you of that just just let me quickly quickly ask you uh, were you taught about these kinds of things when you were in high school you know the dangers of smoking or drugs or alcohol etc uh, in high school? Yes. Did they educate you about those kinds of risks? 
No, no, they, they know, they know about uh, about me. Uh, I don't use it, but in parties, yes. No, but sorry, I meant the teachers. Did the teachers teach you about that? Oh uh, no, uh, they don't care about that. Oh, so that was okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's too bad. And uh, Fabio, a uh, 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 final comment, please. Well, <clears throat> well, nothing more than you know. Just to recap that. Uh, Different different substances give different kind of addictions. You have a physical addiction from lack of a substance, and you have uh, addiction to to feelings that certain actions give it to you. And um, from from what I understood, from what everybody said, you no, know, the main problem is that you know uh, the problem of addiction is a uh, it becomes a problem if it's bothering you. Because you know, as as the the girl from from Brazil, you know, well said, and uh, she had problems. You know, that area had problems with drug addict, but they haven't problems with the drugs they were getting. They had problems with the mess they were doing. So, again, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's the same thing as what you know Great Britain had with the hooligans. You know, in 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 the soccer stadium. You know, it it. It is absolutely the same thing. So, if we want to have a, a healthier society, we can talk about addiction, and the only way is by uh, uh, informing the public in a proper way. I mean, I don't think that you know denying the use of a substance or you know prohibiting something has really that much of an effect. Yeah. So, okay, great education. Uh, yeah. yeah. Excellent. And Lizzie, uh, uh, a final comment, please. I think Fabio said well enough, and I, I don't think we care a lot about uh, where they find the drug or how they find the drug. And I think everything ends in education. But uh, I don't know if you guys know, but the major problem here in Brazil is education and then the health system. So we we lack of good uh, teachers. Uh, we don't have uh, good schools and so on. And I, I don't think it, I don't think it's all because they are poor people they go to drugs. Because I do know many poor people. I I don't know if if. It's that because my boss, it's very rich and still he he likes it. It's like uh, an emotion that he feels by using it, nice. and that's that's it. Yeah, no, and I just wanted to quickly say something. Uh, I read that Brazil, uh, the president and the uh, the minister of education, are currently trying to get all of the oil exploration. Um, uh, sorry, the oil production uh, profits to go into education, 100% of them. Uh, what Do you have a quick comment about that, Lizzie? Yes, that will not happen because uh, <laughs> here we have a major problem with corruption. So that's why we don't have education and we don't have a nice health system because the money can't I don't know, we, we don't use the money in proper ways. Yeah. I mean, uh, we have two hospitals in my city and both are closed because we don't have enough money to to sustain them. Okay. So I don't think that money will ever arrive to education. Okay, well, no, I really appreciate your comments. I, I'm going to still keep thinking positively because <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, Maamon, please go ahead with a comment. Um, um. Nothing really. Like uh, yeah. everything's been said. It's it's a good class. I wish you can do like more classes uh, during that uh, period of time during the day. Oh, okay. Well, no, I I'm uh, I'm online quite a bit next week, and yeah, it's just my classes mean nothing unless the students come and are prepared to talk and ask questions and look for ways to practice things that they need to say. So. Uh, thank you for, for your participation. Uh, Mine? Um, yeah, it is the same. I don't have any final comment, but <laughs> I can tell one thing. I just read one article a few days ago. I just realized that if you have an internet addiction, um, this is 
this is one gene is affective internet addiction they just realized that and they are working on the medicine uh, I am looking forward to medicine <laughs> because maybe I will need it in the future <laughs> that's well, it, it. And it it'll be very interesting to see if they develop some drugs that block uh, heroin addiction, nicotine, nic nicotine addiction, sorry, Al alcoholism apparently is yeah. very connected to uh, genetics and so yeah we'll, yeah, we'll be addicted to the non-addiction drugs. Uh, Russell, go ahead please with a final comment. Yeah, I think my neighbors are growing marijuana and I better should tell police <laughs> <laughs> they are doing something bad. <laughs> to, are, are they growing it to sell or are they growing it to use? I think they are using it. I well, I'm not okay. sure. Well, it depends on the uh, quantity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> it's better to uh, avoid uh, the drugs or any kind of addiction rather than taking medicines in your life. <laughs> yeah. That's the final comment. No, oh, great. And Tarek, uh, uh, a final comment, please. Mm, uh, I think, uh, in my opinion, about addiction, if any bad things, uh, for example, smoke addiction or train cut or alcohol addiction, uh, I think we we should if we want, we we cannot uh, just quit from addiction. We uh, it's better to find uh, uh, a good things instead of these bad things. So you can relax them, not just quit all the Yeah, to find a healthy substitute. Uh, yes. That's uh, what many people uh, recommend. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All of you, congratulations on your English. You expressed yourselves very, very well. I, I thought that was a great uh, conversation. All the best. I hope to talk to you again soon. And, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank Take care. You. Great work. Bye bye. Thank you and happy new year. Yes, thank you. Let's uh, have a great 2013. Yes. Mm -hmm.